you doing up so late? I heard you come in. Where were you? At the ballet. Ballet? Uh -huh. What's that? Well, a ballet is a story. But instead of using words to tell it, it's told in music and dancing. Now, good night, Timmy. Good night. <whistles> Dad! Say, I thought you were going to sleep. I am, Dad. But first, tell me what you're whistling. It's called Russian Dance, and it's from Petrushka. Now, go to sleep. Who wrote Petrushka, Dad? Oh, Igor Stravinsky wrote it in 1907. Now, please, Timmy, no more talking. One more thing. All right, very well. How long ago was 1907? Oh, my goodness, what a question. Well, I suppose you won't go back to sleep until I tell you all about it. Please, Dad, tell me. Well, Igor Stravinsky is living in the United States now, but he was born in Russia. Stravinsky listened to Russian folk songs and wove their spirit into his first ballet, which was called The Firebird. And into another great ballet, Rite of Spring. <laughs> Nowadays, nearly everyone likes Stravinsky's music. But you know, that wasn't always true. At first, many musicians honored him, but many others objected to his work because it was different from most of the music being written at that time. How was it different, Dad? Well, for one thing, Stravinsky set his melodies to strange-sounding chords. You see, the chords people were used to sounded this way. Now, listen, I'll play it for you on the piano. But Stravinsky's sounded like this. And his rhythms were different, too. <laughs> Gee, Dad, that sounds like Duke Ellington. Well, it should. Duke Ellington was very much influenced by Stravinsky. And so was another famous American composer, Aaron Copland. Gee, Dad, I wish I could go to the ballet and hear Stravinsky's music and see the dancers. Mother and I will take you sometime soon, Timmy. But I'll tell you what. As a special treat, I'll let you listen to the record I bought on the way home. It's from Petrushka. The Russian dance you heard me whistling.
now, Timmy, that's all for tonight, so go to sleep. Good night, Timmy. <laughs> Good night, Dad. <laughs>